ships and troop transports several hundred miles out at sea heading for this island of Midway. Upon Admiral Nimitz, commander of the Central Pacific Front, rested a grave responsibility. He decided that this was the place to make a stand and committed all available ships to a bold attack. The future of the Pacific lay in the hands of these young naval aviators. This was a new kind of sea battle. The two fleets were never inside each other. Aircraft carriers, great floating airports, served as bases from which the planes took off to attack the opposing fleet over a hundred miles away. The Battle of Midway set the pattern for other sea battles which followed in the Pacific. While the American planes were on their mission, Japanese planes in turn attacked the American fleet. lost one destroyer and the aircraft carrier Yorktown, one of the only three undamaged American carriers in the Pacific. But simultaneously, American planes had given the Japanese a savage hammer. Japanese task force was routed. They lost four modern aircraft carriers, two heavy cruisers, three destroyers, and suffered severe damage to all ships, including batteries. The Battle of Midway was a defensive battle only, but it marked a turning